Hi everyone, Maiden here. With Crisis on Infinite Earths just days away, we're happy to bring you our third video in this series where we present 13 more actors who had roles in Smallville and other DC properties. And then as a bonus, 25 more actors in our speed round. Links to the first two parts of the series are in the description and at the end of this video, so let's get to it. Dean Cain is well known for his role of Superman slash Clark Kent in the Lois and Clark series. His portrayal of Clark was a far cry from Christopher Reeve's bumbling reporter and may have influenced Smallville, in which he also appeared as Dr. Curtis Knox, an immortal with a hidden agenda. Yes, this was supposed to be Vandal Savage, but they couldn't obtain rights to that name. DC's Legends of Tomorrow finally paid this off by mentioning Curtis Knox as an alias that their version of Vandal Savage used. Kane has also played Dr. Jeremiah Danvers, Supergirl's adoptive human father, in the CW show, and has voiced Jonathan Kent in DC Superhero Girls. Veteran actor Michael Ironside is no stranger to the DC universe. In Smallville, he played Sam Lane, Lois's dad, and an army general. But he also voiced Darkseid in Superman the Animated Series, Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, and the DC LEGO Supervillains game. He also played Lewis Snart, Captain Cold's father, in the CW's Flash. Linda Carter is known to many for her role as Wonder Woman in the 1975 live-action series, but she also appeared in Smallville as Chloe's mom, Maura Sullivan, in one episode. She would later appear as President Olivia Marsden, secretly an alien, in the CW's Supergirl. And there are unconfirmed rumors that she may appear in some capacity in Crisis. Hiro Kanagawa is a talented actor who appears all over the DC Universe. In Smallville, he played Principal Kwan at Smallville High. Later, he would pop up as Lieutenant Peel in Human Target, Dr. Neil Lamb in two episodes of CW's Arrow, Lieutenant Suzuki in iZombie, and in DC's Legends of Tomorrow as Director Bennett of the Time Bureau. Eric Acerra is no stranger to the weirder shows of television and appeared in Smallville in three episodes as three different characters. In Season 4 as Lex's aide, in Season 5 as a sorority girl, and in Season 10 as Adriana Tomas. She would go on to appear in an episode of Lucifer, which is based on the DC Comics property. Sam Witwer played the character of Davis Bloom on Smallville for an entire season, though it would turn out he was more than meets the eye as he became the killing machine Doomsday. But elsewhere in the DC Universe, Whitwer would go on to voice Orm in Justice League Throne of Atlantis and play Ben Lockwood, aka Agent Liberty, in CW's Supergirl. Terrence Stamp is an incredible actor who played the first live-action version of Zod in the Christopher Reeve Superman movies. He had quite the grudge against Jor-El, which makes it even more interesting that he ended up playing the voice of Jor-El in 23 episodes of Smallville. Speaking of Jor-El, he appeared in The Flesh for two episodes, this time played by Julian Sands. But in 2015, he played Gerald Crane, father of future Bat-villain Scarecrow Jonathan Crane on Fox's Gotham. Jessica Parker Kennedy played the super-powered Firestarter Plastique in several episodes of Smallville, who eventually joined that continuity Suicide Squad. But flash forward, so to speak, and she takes on the role of Nora West Allen, aka Excess, on CW's Flash. And while she appears in some artwork for Crisis, her participation has not been confirmed. Mark McClure played Jimmy Olsen in the Christopher Reeve Superman films and in the Supergirl movie. He was the only actor to be in all the super films of the era, so it was inevitable for him to show up on Smallville, though this time he was Dax Ur, a Kryptonian scientist living in exile on Earth. Terry Hatcher played Lois Lane in Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. However, she played Ella Lane, the mother of Lois, in an episode of Smallville. Later, she played Rhea, mother of CW Supergirl's mon -El, and the wife of someone they called Largand, but... Largand is supposed to be Monel's real name, so... Eh? Why is his last name L? Why did they never question that either? He just said, hi, I'm Monel. I'm from a different planet, but we have the same last name already. What's up with that? This is my dad who has, you know, a Daxum name, but it's the name I'm supposed to have. You know, if his dad is named Largand, there's no reason he can't be like, Largand Jr. Like, how hard would that be? How hard would it have been to make streaky orange? Like, of all the things. 
How hard is it to find an orange cat? If I try hard enough, I could obtain an orange cat without leaving my block. You know, Brainiac's blue and Saturn Girl is brunette and like, no one is themselves. It's a mess. What's the next line? But anyway, the one they called Largand was played by Kevin Sorbo, who almost got cast in the role of Clark Kent on Lois and Clark. Ted Whittall played Rick Flagg on Smallville, a name that is very connected to the Suicide Squad in the DC Universe, as was the case with this version as well. But as a fun little easter egg, he had a role as Admiral Olsen in the Suicide Squad movie. Finally, Allison Mack played Chloe Sullivan in Smallville, and she was one of few to be in the series from start to finish. She hasn't done much acting lately, but she voiced Power Girl in the Superman Batman Public Enemies movie, and a character named Clea in an animated Batman short. But wait! There's more. There are even more actors who were in Smallville and appeared in other DC shows. Since they only appeared in a few episodes, though, we are gonna do a speed round. So here goes! Emmanuel Vagier was Dr. Helen Bryce on Smallville, and later appeared in an episode of Human Target. Michael Cassidy played Grant Gabriel, but later it was Jimmy Olsen in Batman v Superman. Adrian Holmes played two different characters on Smallville, and later appeared on Human Target and Arrow. Rekha Sharma was Dr. Harden in Smallville, and later appeared on Arrow as well. Anna Galvin went from Smallville to both Legends of Tomorrow and iZombie. Ari Cohen was also on iZombie after playing Regan Matthews on Smallville. Robert Wisden played Chloe's dad on Smallville, but later played Richard Nixon in Watchmen. Julian Christopher was one of the boatload of doctors on Smallville before playing a role on Human Target. Bill Mondi played two different characters on Smallville, one of them a doctor, and also voice Sergeant Dog on Crypto the Superdog. Patrick Cassidy played Lana's biological father on Smallville, but had previously played Leslie Luckabee on Lois and Clark. Francois Yip was on Smallville as a doctor, and went on to iZombie and Arrow. Similarly, Fred Henderson also did those two shows after Smallville, plus Supergirl and The Flash. Dean Redman was in five episodes of Smallville and went on to Supergirl and Arrow. Dario Delaccio was Doomsday and later appeared on Arrow. Michael Dangerfield played the obnoxious Gordon Godfrey on Smallville before moving on to Arrow. Chris Gautier was Smallville's Toy Men and appeared in Watchmen and iZombie. Anne-Marie DeLuise was two characters on Smallville before her iZombie appearance. Ryan McDonald went from Smallville to iZombie, Arrow, and The Flash. Looks like Vancouver is the place to be. Jerry Wasserman was, get this, a doctor on Smallville and had roles in Watchmen, iZombie, and was the president on The Flash. Jill Teed was Smallville's version of Maggie Sawyer before appearing on iZombie and on Arrow as a doctor. What a switch. So twisty. Chris Shields was on Smallville, but can now be seen on Batwoman, and had roles in iZombie and The Flash. iZombie also had an appearance by Britt Irvin, who played Stargirl on Smallville. Sahar Benius was Shiera Hall, aka Hawkgirl, on Smallville, along with three other roles, and was in Watchmen. Steve Byers played Desaad on Smallville, before appearing on Supergirl as... Tom. Just Tom. And finally, Pam Greer played Smallville's Amanda Waller, but also voiced Mariah in the animated Justice League. Mariah is a Martian. They have human names, but with apostrophes. You just put apostrophes anywhere and you suddenly have an original Martian name that was not influenced by human names at all. It's such a coincidence. McGann Mers. I'm Jones. So that's our list. Did we forget anyone? Please let us know in the comments below if we did. You can watch parts one and two over here. You can subscribe down there and hit that notification bell. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And as always, have fun and follow your fandom.